Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Leo. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Leo. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you'll find the link in the description section. Just as a side note with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comment section and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dogs. This would be the third time trying to air this video because they interrupted it that many times. <laughs> okay, so the first um, thing I saw on the crystal ball for you before starting the video was two figures in a rowboat. One was a male and they were facing the right direction. Now, with a rowboat, that usually symbolizes uh, moving on to calmer waters. Now, what's interesting is they were blocked or seemingly like they were blocked they were going towards the direction of a woman that was in the air now there's two ways to interpret this message the woman that was in the air was wearing a white dress and she had a baby connected to her breast and she was not holding the baby but the baby was connected to her and in both her arms in one hand she was holding scales and in the other hand she was holding scales as well so in both arms or hands, I should say, she's holding scales like the, you know, the weighing scales. So with this message coming through, this is going to be um, a representation of some type of justice, a justice that is going to be uh, given to you in regards to some type of situation. So like I said, this might not resonate with everyone. And uh, before the video, um, before the video, of course, I aired it, I scurried the uh, crystal ball and the image that had showed was... Uh, the first part was the letter L in the crystal ball. So the capital letter L, almost like cursive. So L as in love. So that could be uh, initial of you. This could be initial of the person in the situation. Or this could be this the representation of it being a Leo video. Now, what happened with the, uh, the woman holding the baby? It's like she was blocking, like justice was blocking this person that thought they were moving on to, you know, calmer waters. So if there is, excuse the dog in the background. So if there is a situation where, uh, someone did something wrong to you or your child and they think they're going to get away with it, that is going to be blocked. There is going to be divine karma. There's going to be justice. That's going to stop this individual from being able to move forward. And, if this is uh, another way you could interpret this as well as if you have been going through a difficult situation with your child, then, you know, you're going to be moving on to smoother, calmer waters where justice is going to prevail. All right. Now, the first card to flip out for you today is the Queen of Cups. So I feel like this is your energy. This is you being connected to your emotions. This is, you know, being could be easily hurt. You wear your uh, heart on your sleeve. This is like a gentle, nurturing mother, uh, mothering card here with the Queen of Cups. Now, the next card out for you is the Three of Coins. So with Three of Coins being here, this is representing like-minded collaboration here. And the next card out for you is the Knight of Coins. This is representing a person that's loyal, hard worker, making your wishes come true, possibly an animal lover. So I feel like there's going to be someone that's going to be coming into your life that's going to be helping you with whatever difficult situation you could possibly be going through with you and your child. There's going to be some form of support system that's going to be coming your way. And that was clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, where this is fate, this is destiny, this is part of Jesus' divine plan for your life, where you're going to have this, you know, this support that you need for you and your child. Now, the next card to flip out for you for um, today's prayer oracle deck is the Bible verse, but those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. So that's a beautiful message that's coming through for you. So if you feel like you're going through a very difficult situation right now, know that Jesus is going to give you the strength to conquer any problems that you could possibly be facing. Now, the next card out for you is Sacred Medicine Calling. This card has been coming out a lot lately, and this card is letting you know that to step in the role as a healer and visionary and seer in this world is becoming louder and more insistent. You are currently walking through a fire of initiation to shake up self-doubt, fear of visibility, and the time has come to do so. If you choose not to listen, the call will only increase in volume. It has never felt safe for you to share your sacred medicine with the world and it's letting you know now it's time to do so to put into action in a tangible way and that your presence is worth so much more than you can know so it's letting you know basically to step in your divine power and your divine spiritual gift so that's a beautiful message that's coming through for you now the next card to come out for you is wood bentony grounding so with this card coming out i'll more likely have to make the second half but let's see how far we can get uh, with the wood bentony, it's letting you know to ground your energy and protect yourself from negative energies and letting you know to spend time in nature because that'll be a great benefit to you as well. So you could be possibly be surrounded by people that are negative energies. We'll finish the rest of this in the second half. 